Welcome into Big Sky Virtual Basketball Media Day here on Pluto TV. Thanks for being with us, streaming all day long, getting you ready for the 2020-2021 Big Sky Basketball season. We're previewing the Thunderbird men's basketball team right now. We've got head coach Todd Simon and senior guard John Knight III with us. Guys, thanks for being here with us. Excited to talk some T-Bird hoops. And coach, we'll just kind of start. We'll look back at last year, obviously, another successful season for the program before everything uh, quickly closed down in March. So just when you reflect back on last season, kind of, you know, what were some of the biggest takeaways for you? Well, this is another step in, in the right direction as we continue to grow the program brick by brick and, and, and making strides toward uh, a championship season, which is which is what we always want. But uh, uh, we had some some big moments for the program, and, you know, with a big win, Big Ten win in non-conference, uh, another uh, successful non-conference season, and then going into big big sky play, uh, we felt like we were at our best at the end with a big win and first time in 20 years up at Montana, and uh, we kind of hit our stride going to the tournament before the uh, before the abrupt ending. Obviously, this upcoming season is riddled with unknowns, but bottom line is you guys are practicing and you're getting ready to play basketball. So, uh, just kind of what has been your message to the team over the past couple of months as you've been making preparations to get going here? Well, it's, it's always just as we are every year. We, we were, we're preaching control what you can control, and that's our attitude and effort throughout this pandemic, and and do the do the best we can with the uh, time that we're allotted and what we're allowed to do, and and uh, focus on getting better. And I think the uh, pandemic has made everyone appreciate the time that you get in, in, in investing in this game and the time that we get together because you just never know when it's going to be kind of taken away. And the game was taken away from all of us for a little bit, and I think we all came back with a greater appreciation. John, just bottom line, how excited are you guys to be able to get back out on the court and face somebody? I mean, we're excited. We, I mean, I know we're pretty much tired of playing each other. We're ready to play against the other teams. I mean, we grinded hard this summer. We didn't know if we was going to be able to come back to school, so everybody had to put the work in on their own. But now we're here as a team, and we're fighting for, uh, you know, the ring, the championship at the end. Coach, let's look a little bit at the roster here. Obviously, you guys made some big moves over the off season. You brought in some big-name transfers, looking at Tevin Jones, Cortez from LSU, and – Moody from North Dakota, just kind of as you looked at the roster this offseason, what moves were you hoping to make and what were you guys able to get accomplished? Yeah, we're excited. We have a nice blend uh, of returners, you know, and that's part of the fruits of, of kind of building the program. But then now we felt like we could add a few pieces that uh, would, uh, you know, be add to the mix, give us some, something a little bit different. And uh, we were able to do that. Uh, we're excited about those transfers. They got they those three guys will all be eligible, and and they all add uh, firepower to what we're trying to do and fit our system. And uh, so from that standpoint, it it, it really is going to be uh, exciting to kind of see it all come together when it does. And we've got some freshmen we're excited about, and and, and junior college transfer. We got so we got a nice blend of of old and new and experience, and and I think these. These, these returners and older guys have done a great job getting them ready. John, when you look back at last season, obviously year one for you, but you come out, you have a lot of success. Uh, when you look back on last season, uh, how were you able to find that success? What were you able to do out on the court to really get yourself going? Um, I pride on being a big guard. So I was bigger than most guards we played against. So the my plan, my game plan was to attack the basket no matter who in front of me. Just finish my layups because they all was sagging off. So I just play in the post and just play smarter. When you look at the, obviously, Coach, you mentioned all the veterans you got coming back, John being one of them. You got a, really a core of six guys that have played a ton of minutes now for this program. Just how much easier has that made making preparations for this season been? Well, when, you, when from a mental aspect as a player, when you're not trying to find out what the coach wants, you kind of know – uh, what the deal is, you're, you're, you're in a constantly adding and refining stage. And uh, so for those for these guys, you know, they've, they've, they've been through it. They know exactly what we're about. They know our philosophy. They know what wins and doesn't win. And so everything that they're doing is just completely improvement. And, and, and they can also help the new guys understand those things. So it, it's a completely different feeling than the first couple of years of the program where you're you know, constantly trying to establish our culture. John, how do you feel like the teams really come together over the last couple of months? Where have you seen you guys improve the most out on the court? Um, K 
chemistry. I have to say, chemistry is way better than last year. Like this year, everybody knows where they're supposed to be. So like on the drift paths, they're there. On the fill in, they're there. And we just trust each other a lot more than we did last year. Who's really come in and impressed you? What newcomer have you really looked at and been like, dang, that guy is um, making some moves here? I have to say Moody, Tev, and um, Cortez. They actually, Moody, I'm, I'm impressed with Moody. Moody, he, he reminds me a lot like Duncan Robinson. Like, when he get in his hand, he's going to get it up. And, I mean, 50%, 50 he, he's going to make it. Like, he might well go on count to three. He's going to make it. I think I got a lot of trust in him. Like, that can improve my assist games when they come in because we got shooters that are spaced the floor out to get to the basket, and then they help you kick it out for a three. Our offense is going to be amazing this year. That's awesome to hear. Coach, uh, you got a couple guys, Dre Marine and Yvonne Madunich. Yvonne obviously redshirted last year coming back, but you know, as, as long as all things all go according to plan, we'll leave this program playing more games than anybody else in Division One history. Uh, for you, when you look at you know stats like that that are starting to pile up here for this program, what does it really mean and, and with what you guys have been able to build here at, as a team? Well, in, in, a, in a sport, men's basketball, particularly where you're looking at 60 to 80 percent of, of college freshmen don't end up with their original team at the end. You know, it's, it's part of the nature, not, it, it, part of the deal is, you know, guys move around, which is, in, and rightfully so, in my opinion. And, and, and But uh, it, it does validate a little bit what we're trying to do when, when guys want to stick around and, and they believe in what we're doing. and. You know, a guy like Yvonne, who's who graduates in three years, and he's going to leave here with an MBA and set himself up for the future. You know that the, the off the court stuff that we talk about is so so important. And you know, Andre's a, a very good student, going to graduate on time, uh, and 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 is going to be on the, on the leaderboard in all, almost all the statistical categories here. And uh, it's just through through their persistence, hard work, sticking with it, believing in what we're doing, and. Uh, you know, as a coach, that validates a little bit of what you uh, what you want. John, obviously, last year's team had four seniors on it. Some guys that were veterans that had been around the game for a long time. You're kind of stepping into that role now, taking a senior leadership role with this team. How has that transition been for you, and how have you been able to, you know, feel like you've been able to lift your teammates up over these last few months? Um, I definitely had to grow up a lot from last year. Last year, I was thinking I had the, uh, the lower classman mindset, like, oh, I got an extra year. I could cheat this. I got an extra year. I could get away by doing this one. But this year, I think I got a uh, – I'm starting to lead by example now. Like, I'll play when it's time to play. When it's time to see, be serious, I'm serious. Like, you know, this pandemic made it a lot. We made it, us appreciate the game a lot more. So, people getting in the gym working harder than they ever been working. So, I mean, like I said, I just got to be a leader on and off the court. Let them follow, lead by example. That's awesome. Uh, coach, year after year, the Big Sky really proves itself as a really good mid-major conference here. Just what, what's kind of your outlook on the Big Sky this season? What do, you, what do you think we'll see in and around the league this year? Yeah, it's one of the better, you know, it's 32 conferences, and we're, we're right right in the, in the middle ahead of most uh, mid-major leagues in terms of our net ranking every year um, so you know I, I fully expect it's going to be you know in in that area again this year because it's so well coached there's so many quality players and uh, you know but, but it's at the end of the day you, you, you know the guys that uh, are, it, it runs through who it runs through and in into uh, Eastern Washington's credit they won the league last year and, and, and they deserve that spot until someone takes it from them and you know they'll be up there. You know, obviously Montana's um, going to have a, a talented squad, and you can kind of go right down the league. Part of what makes this league so good is that one through eleven, it's very deep. You know, there's no off days, there's no tier system necessarily, and and uh, that's what's really made the the league so good over the past couple of years. Is we get a lot of non-conference quality wins, and then in the in the conference play, we're 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 going at each other every night. So it's it's going to be going to be wide open, but. Uh, you know, everyone's got an equal chance. We're all starting 0-0, so we'll see where it goes. Well, I could talk about this squad all day, but we got to wrap up here. Thank you both so much for stopping in, and we're excited to see you all on the court here soon. 
Make sure to stay tuned as Big Sky Virtual Basketball Media Day continues here on Pluto TV.